Hello and welcome to another Houdini quick tip. In this quick tip, I want to show you how you can scale up and down a seamless texture within the MTLX material system inside Karma. So here I have a very simple scene, just a plain UV flatten on top of it, just to have some UV coordinates. And then I create a null and call it out floor, just to find it easier inside Solaris. It's always good to have a null at the end of a object structure, then it's easier to find it later on in Solaris. All right, so here we are in Solaris world. And as you can see, I created a sub import where I can load in my geo from the sub contacts into Solaris. Then I created a camera, a dome light material library. The material library is a node inside the, this material library. You create all your materials. The material linker is new in Houdini 20 before it was the assigned material node. So we dive inside the material library. So you can see that I already have a sub network, which is basically just a karma material builder. Okay. So let's dive inside. And you can see that I already applied a texture and a normal map. And when I start the Karma XPU renderer, you can see that the texture is already applied. But you also can see that the tiles are too big. So how we can scale down the tiles. So for this, we need three nodes inside this material. So the first node is press tab key and then type in parameter and rename this parameter to scale right there. The next node that we need is the texture coordinates, MTLX texture coordinates. And the last node is 2D place, MTLX 2D place right there. So now we have to connect these two together. So the output port go into the input texture coordinates and the scale of the parameter, the parameter output port goes into the scale right there. And the MTLX place 2D output goes into the texture coordinates input of every texture that you have in this material. If you have any other maps, displacement map, roughness map, specular maps, you can plug in the yes, this output into the texture coordinates of the corresponding node. So now you can see the tiles are gone. The reason for that is we have to set up the parameter scale node and now the type is set to float. If we change this to to float vector and we set these values to one, you can see that we have the same tile size as before. But the good thing is now that we can change this value. Let's say 0 0.3, 0 0.3, and you can see the tiles are now smaller. So with this setup, you can scale up and down the scale of your tiles. So I hope this quick tip was helpful for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. If you want to see more of this Houdini quick tips, please let me know as well, and I will create more of them. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And as always, please like, comment and subscribe. And see you next time in another tutorial very soon. Bye everybody.